This video assumes you've mastered the concepts in the Getting Started for Players video, so make sure to go watch that first as we'll be building on those concepts here. To create a new game, click the New Game link at the top right of the My Games panel of your Sono dashboard. Give the game a name and click the Create button. For most game masters, we recommend keeping the Scene panel open, especially while world building. To open the Scene panel, click the World icon at the top right of your screen. To change the tonal settings of your scene, click the scene you'd like to change and either pick a preset from the list of options or customize the options to suit your preference. To add walls to your scene, choose either the rectangle or line drawing tool in the DM toolbar at the bottom of your screen. We'll start with the rectangle drawing tool. Once you have the tool selected, click and drag to draw on the floor. To extrude these lines into walls, select them all and use either the raise and lower wall buttons on the right of your screen or the R and F buttons on your keyboard. You can select individual walls and just like miniatures, you can move them, rotate them, or move them up and down by holding the Y key on the keyboard. When you first spawn an item in the game world, it will be hidden to the players by default. You can tell the item is hidden if it's slightly translucent. You can show or hide objects from players by right-clicking on the object and selecting Show for Players or Hide from Players. Another method of altering an object's properties is through the Scene panel. For a wall, you can change the name, the visibility, its height and width, and its position on the game board. To add a miniature or prop to the scene, open the library window and use the library's search and filter system to find the item and click the Add to Scene button. You can also use the Add options in the DM toolbar at the bottom of your screen. These are shortcuts that will open the library window and pre-filter by the type of asset you're looking for. To change the model of a miniature, simply select it, find a new model in the library, and click the Apply to Token button. This will change out the model of the selected token or tokens if you have multiples. There's a shortcut here as well in the Scene panel to open the library window. To assign a miniature to a player so they can control it, select the miniature and use the Assigned To option in the Scene panel to pick the player. You'll also want to make sure the miniature is visible to the player as well, or they won't be able to select it and move it. Miniatures and props have a few more scene panel controls than walls. Like a wall, you can change its name and visibility and location on the game board. But you can also change its position and rotation along all three axes. In our game engine, X is east and west, Y is up and down, and Z is north and south. When you rotate a miniature using the keyboard or the rotation buttons, you're rotating around the Y or up axis. Rotating along the other axes will allow you to knock many inches over to indicate down, incapacitated, or prone characters. As with walls, right-clicking on a miniature will display a context menu with various actions. The right-click menu is the same whether you click on the object in the game world or in the scene panel. You can use the duplicate function to make a copy of your selection. That copy will retain all of the original properties except for its position. It will spawn five units north and east of the original. You can delete from the right-click menu or by holding down the delete key on your keyboard for just under a second. Once you start amassing objects in the scene, the scene panel can become a bit unruly so we suggest creating folders as early as possible in your world building to help keep everything organized. Right-click on the scene, 
and select New Folder. Use the Scene panel to give that folder a new name. To select multiple objects, you can click and drag on the game board or hold down the control key and add them to your selection individually. Just like the right click menu, you can perform this action in the game world or in the scene panel. To move items into folders, select them and simply drag and drop the items onto the folder. You can also change the order of items within a folder by dragging. One major advantage of having folders is the ability to select the entire folder's contents by either double-clicking the folder or right-clicking on an object in that folder and choosing Select Entire Folder. You can now perform operations on the entire group in the game window. The Players window has more options for a game master than players. Each row can be expanded and you can change their name, their role, their color, or remove that player from your game entirely. In order to add new players to your game, click the Copy Game Link button and simply send them the link. You can also copy that link from the dashboard or copy a Game Master link. The Game Master link will allow you to have more than one Game Master in the game. This is useful for large-scale games, streaming groups, collaborative world building, etc. And that's it for the basic concept of Game Master tools and controls in Tabula Sono. The next video in this series will cover importing your own 3D and 2D assets into the game. But if you're just starting out as a Sono Game Master, we suggest you click around a bit, build and explore before diving into imports. Thanks for watching.